Hey guys, so in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up your Passport um, HD drive. So if you have an external hard drive like this, that's uh, 1 gig, you just have to plug it in here first of all. Okay, so just plug that wire that came with it. Your USB will go to your uh, the back of your iMac or just the side of your MacBook Pro, depends what you're using. Um, and then I'll show you how to set it up so once you plug it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug it into the back of my Mac. Okay, so once you plugged it in, you might see this coming up on your desktop. If you don't see it, you can just go to Finder, which is right here. Okay, so you're just gonna click on that. And you might see it under Devices, just on the side in Finder. If you don't see it here, okay, once we click on it, we can see all this. If you don't see it there, there's another way, which we're going to go to straight off anyways, which is Disk Utility. So all you have to do is go to your, right there, okay, so your Spotlight, and you're just going to type in Disk Utility. Because once you plug it in, um, you do need to set it up, um, although it comes pre uh, preset up so it works with your Mac. We do want this um, just to restore it and, and make it all um, from zero so it doesn't have any files that you just saw them in Finder right now. Um, so we're just going to erase them. So I'm just going to pick pick the one terabyte right now. Uh, it says my password right here, but we're just going to pick the one terabyte. Okay, so make sure you unplug any other hard drives that you have just in case. Uh, we're going to click on erase right now. Okay then we're just gonna go into format and since we're only gonna use it for Mac we are gonna put it as extended journal and that's it um, if you do if you guys do want to use it for um, PC and Mac you can just set it up as this or XFAT um, usually this one's better okay so and here you can put the name but I'm gonna put that later on so after doing that you're just gonna click on erase right here and we're gonna put that it has one partition okay you guys might want to do two partitions for now I'm just gonna make one partition I'm um, just gonna put erase right now so it's gonna be just one partition um, I might you might want to do two partitions after um, that just makes it look like you have two hard drives in one okay so you could have one actually um, just set up for PC and Mac and the other one just Mac okay so you guys might want to do that in this case um, you would be done by now and you should see by this point that you you erased it you should see your icon right here if you don't once again you should see it on finder so you're gonna see it on the side just as untitled since we didn't put any there shouldn't be anything right here so this is only gonna work with Mac at the moment. Um, I will right now. It's gonna be totally useful, and you just have to plug it in, and it'll play by itself. Um, so you can just drag and drop any any documents that you want onto your hard drive right now. Um, if you guys do want to do the partition, I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, for those of you who just wanted to use it right away, that's all you guys had to do. You're all set. So this is only part number two for whoever wants to make this work with PC as well. And you might want to have two partitions. Okay, so I want to do that exactly. So I'm going to put partitions and I'm going to add one onto it. So here's the plus sign that you see. I'm going to click on that. And right now it's 500 gigs. 500 gigs is, this is a terabyte. So around 200 gigs that I want for PC. Okay, we're not apply that okay okay so right now at this point we're just making the partition okay so it, it does take a little bit um, with the hard drive especially these uh, passport size ones it does take a little bit of time so once we make the partition once again you can make just like I did it with just half half um, so you can mess around with that quite a bit. Remember, you can always go back from this. You just have to erase it, and there you go, your terabyte. All, obviously, all your information will be erased, so watch out for that. Okay, from this point, we can actually go to this partition, 
okay and we do want not to change the size but we want to erase it so we want to make that partition we are actually going to choose number two which is the 201 and erase just that one so just remember to click on that first okay so we are choosing that second partition um, so I'm just going to leave it as untitled 2 or actually you know what let's make it PC PC compatible okay and we're gonna click on embed those fat or I actually like X fat better so uh, then we're just gonna click erase erase and right now we're formatting the second part as a PC compatible okay so right now it's the PC compatible part which is right here and your other one untitled which is just your Mac I'm just gonna call it Mac and this one I'm actually gonna erase it so I just have to click on it just to change the name quickly click and press enter and I'm just gonna write PC okay so right now I have two partitions it shows us two separate um, external hard drives if you plug this into a PC you're only gonna see the PC portion of it not the Mac since the Mac is journaled and therefore no virus will get in here anyways if you plug this into your Mac it doesn't matter uh, you won't get those viruses annoying viruses from PCs um, so don't worry about that uh, just to verify that everything's okay go back to disk utility okay we're just gonna make sure that everything's okay so just click on PC um, click on erase and we're just going to see that the format's fine same thing for Max it's only formatted for Mac which is fine as well okay so for now we're going to just uh, quit this thing right now so just uh, go to quit this utility and you can also just see and make sure that everything's okay about getting info just right click on it just in case on Max you can right click on it I actually have a video just showing you how to do that so there is right click for Max, just for those of you who don't know. Okay, and that's about it. So that's how you verify that everything's okay. I did my partition. I might need something compatible with PC. That's why I made it like that. And before you unplug it, always remember to eject. So once you eject the PC portion, you do have to eject the Mac portion. So just put eject all. And 